This oversized lap dog is Fifi, and she is a two to three year old blue merle and white pit bull. She is a gorgeous little girl, um, but life in the kennel has been stressing her out. So while she's still available for adoption, when you're walking through the shelter, you will likely not see Fifi. She will be in a quiet area of the shelter um, where she can relax and kind of decompress and just feel nice and calm and relaxed. Um, if you are wanting to see Fifi, um, because you saw her online, you heard about her somewhere else, um, all you have to do is call and make an appointment um, or you know, let us know that you're interested in her and then we can start the steps to make her available for a visit for you. Um, this is something that we've done in the past for animals. It just, um, it just makes their stay here a little bit uh, easier for them. It is hard to live in the shelter for the animals because uh, it's just not a traditional environment. It's very noisy. Um, there's lots of people all the time. There's lots of sm smells. Sometimes it can just be just incredibly overstimulating. It's hard to be behind a barrier all the time and be seeing all, all the other dogs walking by. So it just, it can affect them in a lot of different ways. So we do our best to make sure that we can make all of our residents as comfortable as possible while they are here. So um, we've already gone and gotten Fifi up to date on all her vaccines. Um, she will be spayed before she leaves. Um, she um, was brought to us as a stray. Um, and then we figured out um, um, that she did have a name. However, it was Beefy. And Beefy's not really a great uh, name for a cute little girl like this. So it's been changed to Fifi. Um, as you can see, she loves to sit in laps. She loves to give kisses. Um, she's super sweet. And um, staff and volunteers just really genuinely love her. Um, and she is thriving in a, that much quieter environment. Um, we don't really have any restrictions on the type of home that she can go to. However, she has done several um, meet and greets with other dogs and she just um, wasn't really into those dogs. So it could have been specific to those particular animals or it could be that she has a preference of being an only dog. Um, the only way you're gonna know is if you come in and, and meet with her. Um, that's something that we want everyone to do um, if they have an existing dog and they're thinking about adding another one from us to the mix. Um, but just be prepared that with Fifi, it might not be something that's gonna work out. Um, it is better to know that ahead of time than to send her home and then have to bring her back. Um, and you know what we're doing is always in the best interest for um, our animal and, and the community at large.